when I was starting to teach, a lot of my students failed at crossings with several lanes. Until I started to explain it very carefully with a graphic that I will share you in this video. Again, we are driving an exam and this time you're coming to a huge crossing. The examiner will tell you, please turn left. So you have to look which lanes to choose. And that is quite obviously in that case, because number one is the only one to turn left. So probably you choose number one, driving into the correct lane. But now you have to ask yourself which lane to choose. After turning left, you've got two possibilities, A or B. And actually, both lanes are possible. You are allowed to drive to A or you can even choose B. In that case, I would recommend you to heat for B because B, like border, it is much more easy to see where B is actually beginning than the lane A. What are you telling me? Remember, that one is just a drawing, but this is reality. And if you change the perspective, how you will later drive inside of the car, it is much more difficult to see where is the entering to A or B. So if you heed to B, you're on the safer side. And that is what I would recommend you for exam. That was quite easy, but let's have a look at a different crossing with different lanes. In comparison to the first example, you have right now two lanes turning left. So if you choose right now again the first lane, which lane do you have to enter now, A or B? If you right now aim for B, because I told you B is much more easier, you will fail your exam. Why? Because another car can come from lane number two, turning left as well, and you will crash right now if you aim for B. So in that case, with two lanes turning to the left and yourself positioned in lane number one, you have to aim for A. In this example, I have a recommendation as well for you. If you know how much lanes are turning left, always choose the most right hand one. In that case, lane number two. That when you're going into the curve, you can aim for lane B. With all advantages, I have told you before. You're aiming for B close to the border. It is easier to detect the correct lane for you. And there is another advantage in that case, because if you come in from lane number two, aiming for B, and at the same time, another car appears from lane number one, turning into A, it is for you much more easier to keep an eye on the red car, because you're positioned on the left hand side as a driver. Instead, the driver in the red car has much more difficulties to see you at the blue car and if he's getting too close to the right, he might crash into your car. So starting from lane number two is much more easier. All right, that is quite clear. But the problem is in real traffic, you maybe don't see any arrows on the floor. Why? Because a lot of cars are waiting in front of a red traffic light and they are all covering the whole floor. So you, as a new car showing up, you don't, you don't have any chance to see the lanes. So in this case, I can give you three tips to help you out. The first tip would be focus on the car in front of you, maybe some drivers are indicating. If someone is indicating to certain direction, you know that the lane of this car is enabling you to turn into that direction. 
that's a big help. Unfortunately, a lot of drivers don't indicate or just indicate in the last moment before driving. So it's not a tip you can rely on every time. That's why I would look on traffic lights. The traffic lights always correspond to the lane below and sometimes you can see arrows in it. So you know the lane below is turning into the direction the traffic light is pointing out. However, sometimes the traffic light doesn't help you out. So there is a last tip I can give you and that's my favorite one. Signs like this. This sign is very valuable to you because it shows certain arrows. Normally they point out to go straight to city this, go into that direction to village that. But in your case, I would look at the black arrows. The black arrows always correspond to the lanes on the floor. So in that case you know lane 1 and 2 are turning left. So we have got two lanes. Remember the yellow signs in front of crossings always gives you a first impression and indication which lanes are turning into which direction. That makes this sign very valuable so take care of that. Alright, I hope I could give you a lot of tips and a big help that you will master your next big crossing without any problems. If you think of a different difficult road situation, describe it in the comments and make it the topic of my next video. See you soon!